Hey, everybody. Okay, what we're going to do today is um, my, um, I had an address, my address uh, on a piece of wood out front on my fence. So, you know, delivery people know that's my house because there's three mailboxes together. Um, sure, you know, they have, probably have um, GPS or whatever, but sometimes they get confused. Like, what house is it? So, but mine, it had been up for probably, I don't know, three years maybe, and it fell off. So it, the wood rotted. So I'm gonna, I'm going to um, make a new one to put out there on my fence. And the other one was um, a turquoise color. I don't know what I was thinking. But my house is uh, white with black shutters. So I'm going to do, if I can get this open, white, white and black. The numbers are black that I'm gonna put on. Okay, what I'm using is, um, not using white paint per se. I'm using the Kills 3 Premium. This stuff is amazing. My front door is white. It's a metal white front door. And I paint it with this. I don't use just regular paint. I paint with this. And this stuff is awesome. And it's like weatherproof. Now, let's see. And we're going to decorate it just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all of it, all sides. If I was using this for something else, I would sand it. I'm not going to sand it because it's going to be outside. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to care. Hope everybody's doing good. All on my end are doing great. And go around the edges first. And because it's going to be outside, I am going to do um, probably two coats. I'm trying not to get this on my tablecloth. could use a hair dryer to, um, or if you have a heat gun, I don't have one of those. You could use a um, hair dryer, but it's warm and breezy here, so, and this stuff dries really fast. It really does. I am going to paint the underside too, but I probably won't do that on the video, so I'm not wasting your time. Um. So 
see that top part right here where I've already painted is drying already. It's a little bit thicker than, um, you know, your average interior house paint. It is a primer, stain blocker, um, high hide sealer and stain blocker. And you get the gold one because it is the best one, the gold label. There's other colors that they sell for different things, but this one is the most heavy duty. I actually use this as the primer for my uh, kitchen countertops. And there are no cracks, there are no chips, there's nothing. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Okay, so what we are gonna uh, put on the, these are the numbers I got. I just, I'm using the same numbers that was on the other one. They're plastic, so they're fine. They still look good. I washed them. Um, they come with um, screws, two screws for each number, uh, which I'm going to do that after I get it on here. I'm going to glue them first, and then I can put the screws in later. But I want to put some seashells on there, and I'm going to paint them. I've seen this done. It's real pretty. But I tried to get two close to the same size to the same size and those are pretty close and I'm going to put them like this on, on the ends and my numbers in the middle but I want to paint them so while the board is drying a little bit I can go ahead and paint these and my nails are a mess because I had a painting job this um, la end of last week finished it yesterday and I did not do my nails because I was like, I'm going to get paint on, my, on me anyway. So that'll be something I can do tomorrow. Paint my nails. I have hundreds of seashells in my house. And I have never thought about painting them. I uh, joined this group called Shellinator. Man, do they have some talented people that, that uh, find the shells and then they create art with it. It's just beautiful. So that's where I got this idea. Yeah, see, I'm getting paint all over me. Okay, I'm pretty sure the shells are gonna need two coats too. Yeah, I can see it drying already. Um, this is going to look good. You're going to be able to see it like, like that, even in the dark. Pretty sure this is uh, weatherproof. It would have to be. If you can use it in wet areas, it would be. It'll preserve the wood because this wood is not um, pressure treated, so I think it'll be fine. I'm 
and the second coat goes on much quicker because it's a smoother surface. I'm going to go back and forth. If it's still wet, go back and forth all the way end to end. Gives you a nice even, you know, strokes. It's very quiet in my neighborhood so far. I should probably not have said that. I might jinx myself. You're probably thinking, why are you painting the shells white when you're going to put it on white? Well, we're going to add black to go with the numbers. I may should have brought a hair dryer out here. Hear the birds singing? I love that. I have owls that visit in the mornings, early in the morning, like four o'clock. And they come in this big tree I have. And it's dark outside. And let me tell you, they are scary sounding. Like they'll scare you sound like something out of a scary movie but now I know what it is so it doesn't scare me first time who I ran in the house I didn't know what it was did not know what it was okay so to put my numbers on I like I said I'm gonna glue them on so that they're they're stable and then I'm gonna put the screws in that come with the numbers um, I'm going to use this um, this Loctite all-purpose glue, extra strong for all conditions, and I it's it's weatherproof. Now E6000 is great, and I would use that, but I don't have any right now, so this is what I have, and it'll work just fine. We're going to put that on the numbers, and I'm going to put the hot glue on also so that um it doesn't shift and slide and then tomorrow I'll be completely dry with this and same thing with the shells too so I really don't want to put the numbers on while it's wet cover this up um, I'm 
going to use this, um, the Waverly chalk paint from um, Walmart in the color ink, which is black. It's pure black. Come on, dry. I'll put that in water. I'll try to wash my brushes so I can keep them. You know what, maybe I will go get a hair dryer. No, I don't have a plug-in for it. Okay, let's just, um, let's just paint the shells. Now, you know what? This is what I want to do. I've had a couple ideas. I need to shake my chalk paint up. This was a new one. You know the old porcelain um, trays and bowls? Are they porcelain? Enamel. Enamel. Enamel bowls and trays. I want to do that on some other stuff to make it look like the old enamel wear. And I think I'm going to do that to this. So I'm going to take my brush. And it doesn't have to be uh, perfect. Just go along the edge this side's a little rough because that's where I cut it well, my husband cut it for me. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe that'll look okay. It's going to have to because <laughs> it's what I'm using. I'll do that a little bit around. That don't look too bad. Okay, it is drying. It is drying, people. I promise. The shell should be easy. It's always breezy when I'm out here and it's not today. What's up with that? Okay. I think my board is um, dry enough. It looks dry enough. Make sure I don't have paint on my on my hands. I'm good at on the numbers. I could have freshened these up, but I think it's fine. Oh, 
I just want to space them and see where I want them. I don't really measure anything, and I think that is spaced out pretty good. Okay, so what we'll do is, and they're very flat on the underside, so <clears throat> I'm going to, you don't want any glue where the screw holes are, so I'm going to basically put this glue in the center and then I'm going to do the hot glue more towards the edge. And they're going to be, you know, screwed on. So, I don't know if you can see. I just did little dabs here and there. <clears throat> I'm going to take the hot glue. Put some here. 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 Blue strings. Okay. I'm just going to push it down. Then they won't slide around. Just randomly, just make sure you miss the screw holes. And my, these numbers are, you know, already manufactured slanted, so I'm keeping the slant going. I think if I put them, you know, straight, straight, they'd look funny, so keeping them slanted. Now, when this one falls apart, I won't be able to use these numbers again, I don't think. <laughs> I'll have to go buy more. Try not to have to do that. Not already? What? put the lid back on that. This will dry up if I don't. Okay, almost done. Now I just have to uh, decorate these shelves. And this is going to be easy because I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same thing 
that I did to the, with the wood. I'm just going to go around the edges with the black. It'll just define it so you know that it's actually a seashell on there, which is going to be pretty. it real light <laughs> it's a little tricky a little tricky Chalk paint dries fast, so. I think a little too much right there. Now I kind of wonder if I should just, um, that is pretty see if I can do this without dropping it isn't that pretty look how cute that is okay so we got that one and we'll do this one I've seen some beautiful, um, uh, they, I think they call it medalla, oops, too much, uh, painting, paintings on shells. That is beautiful. That's very uh, time consuming, but I'm sure it's relaxing. that one doing it darker towards the uh, bottom of the shell and then I'm just swiping it lightly you know kind of like a dry brush on the um, the base, the main part of the shell. Something's biting me. This one's, this one's, I got a lot. Now I'm going to attach the shells and then we're going to be done and I'll show it to you. Put my paint up. Minus the drying time, this project didn't take long at all. Okay, this one seems to be more dry. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put this um, Loctite glue underneath. I'm going to do it heavy on the <clears throat> this bottom part, right on the very bottom part. And then I'm going to do one big dot in the top 
there and then the rest I'm going to do some hot glue just so it won't slide Ooh, I got lucky I didn't burn my finger this one on the bottom a big blop right there on the top Can do this. We're going to do more stuff with shells. I love the beach. I love shells. I have a gazillion shells. Tons of shells. Okay. Well, my hands are a mess. But let me um let me pick this up. And I'll show it to you. See how pretty that is? Isn't that pretty? I love this and it matches my house. Oops, I almost dropped it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And then I will paint the underside of it. And then I will screw the the letters on, uh, the numbers on. Then I'll make my husband put it on my fence. Okay, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for, for watching the whole thing. I appreciate it.